my Yitty package arrived. It looks like it's Lululemon. It's not. It's Yitty. <laughs> um, I just picked it up from a leasing office and I carried it in with this bag. I'm going to get it out of the package and show you what I got. I just got two things. So I'm making it like it's a big deal, but it's not <laughs> at all. Dream team, stick together and make history. Golden okay, so this is the major label off the shoulder top. I'm super close because... Um, I want you to be able to see that it has, like, the print that says Yitty all over it. It's just kind of, like, meshy. You can see your bra through. I feel like Aunt Viv, when she went to that dance audition. So, these are uh, the mesh me leggings or whatever. Super, like, high-cut panty, which I really wanted because <laughs> when I got my first rebounder, um like four years ago it was because of lauren Cleavon. she owns lak fit in la and she always wears like a un high cut underwear with tights over it and i was like i never seen anything like that in plus size so um yeah i was excited for these i got them in a four i'm glad i did i tried on the three last week in store if you didn't see that go to my last video um but it's supposed to look like a stocking with just like underwear under is what it's supposed to look like which is what i was going for just for like when i'm teaching and stuff i think it's a cute moment um, as you can see the you know side belly if you're not a fan of that don't buy these um <laughs> the 3x was too sheer like you could see all the way through you could see my underwear through so it was clearly like not the right size the 4x is the right size i wouldn't say that you could work out in these because just doing this like i can feel the chafing happening <laughs> like because they're mesh it feels like when you wear stockings and they're a little bit too like tight like those really tight sheer text stockings that's what it feels like so it'd be fine for bouncing but i wouldn't wear it for like cardio like cardio where you're moving your thighs a lot but it is cute just like a photo shoot moment <laughs> i think they're really cute um the off the shoulder top i'll probably just wear it with like you know leggings as well i wouldn't wear it with this because i feel like it covers this thing but it's just a cute little off the shoulder top it sits off the shoulder really well i got a 4x in this too i'm glad i did because i feel like the 3x would have been too tight um 4x in both in store everything else was a 3x and it was my preferred fit and everything again this is all shapewear it's not activewear and a lot of people are thinking it's activewear like the mesh um sh like panty set with the short sleeve shirt i had on last video you may be able to get away with that as swimwear in the patterns but in the solids it would be see-through as soon as you got out <laughs> so I probably wouldn't wear it swimming in the solid color so I feel like this is a very niche kind of collection for who might want to wear it like I wouldn't consider these shapewear like do they smooth me a little tiny bit maybe um but I you know went with the 4x so probably not as much as the 3x did and they roll <laughs> down um which I've seen a lot of people say like this has like the little it also says yitty here like the band says yitty um but it won't stay up on me it keeps rolling down unless i like pull it up under my boobs but then the underwear part gets like see-through because it's overstretched so it has to sit down lower but it also rolls down <laughs> anyhow those are the two yeti pieces i got i am gonna keep them i've seen a lot of people doing a lot of returns i've seen a lot of people saying it runs small which for me I don't think it does because I'm like a full 24 and the 3X was my preferred fit in pretty much everything in the store except for these leggings in the blue, like I've said. Um, and this is a 4X. So I feel like this probably runs small too, like a 3X would have been too small. So maybe same with Fabletics from piece to piece. Some things can fit a little bit better than others. Um, I am glad that I only ordered two things <laughs> because I was going to order all 4Xs and making returns to fabletics is not my favorite thing ever because when you make a return you get your stuff so late after ordering it that when you make a return it falls into the next cycle so you have to make sure to skip that month if you don't want to purchase anything that month 
and I usually like to cancel my Fabletics as soon as I make a purchase so that I'm not getting recurring charges because a lot of the time the email for Fabletics will end up in your inbox. But I'd say 30% of the time it ends up in your spammer promotions and you have no idea and totally forget to skip the month. So if you're a Fabletics person or you want to buy like Yiddy or whatever, set an alarm on your phone for the first through like the third of the month to go in and cancel if you don't want to get charged. The other thing where I stopped partnering with Fabletics, this has turned into a rant, is because <clears throat> You get the credit, $49.95 a month, which is going up next month, I believe, to $54.95 is what I think I saw on the website. If that doesn't cover your outfit, it's really hard to use it. Like a lot of the time, especially in Plus, if there was something like a coat that I wanted to order, um, no, that's a bad example. So a lot of time plus the thing, yeah, no, that's a good example. <laughs> so if I wanted to order a coat and a pair of leggings, like like a jacket, not a coat, it would be over the $49.95, which is fine. You pay the difference. But if you were like, uh, I don't want to go over this month. I just want to order like a sports bra. You can't ap apply the $49.95 to something that's lower <laughs> than the $49.95 without a fight like in chat they'll just say oh it has to be um equal or greater value so you'll have to call wait on hold for a long time and then have someone adjust it so that you can buy the thing that you want to buy and you do lose the remainder of the credit it's not like they give you like 13 dollars back if you're buying a you know bra that's you know 20 something dollars or something like that so that just really annoyed me that like an outfit isn't actually $49.95 the majority of the time, like a sports bra and leggings. A lot of the time, even that's still over and you still end up, you just always end up spending more. And I know I spend a lot of money on Lululemon, but at least I know what I'm getting with them. Like I don't have to worry about skipping. I can go to the sale, pay around the same amount on a sale pair of leggings and a sale sports bra. And then on top of that, Lululemon has her quality promise. So I had some um, of my Align leggings that were starting to pill. I filled out this quality form, sent them back to them, and they've sent me a gift card to replace them. And they do that all the time, even if you had something for like a year or two years. Like it's mostly like based on their discretion, but I've never had them deny anyone like me and I don't know anyone that's been denied. So like, even though it's more expensive than like going for something like Fabletics, for me it's worth it because it's like an investment and it's like they're always going to replace it with this stuff like i have some fabletic stuff that has hold up, held up over the years but i feel like the quality can be hit or miss the same thing with people are saying with Lit yeti because it's a fabletics company they felt like the quality between things have been missed sometimes the fabrics are stretching out and the you know the print isn't as opaque as they'd like it to be so i know people that love and stand fabletics I don't dislike Fabletics, it's just not my favorite business model, the whole subscription business model, because I feel like it is intentionally making you pay more than you're already paying, and I don't know how those emails work out, but I feel like the email thing's a little shady because I don't always get my skip email. But yeah, anyhow, that's my Yeti review. Luckily, I do not have to do a Fabletics return. I do really like these. Uh, yeah, I went super basic, and I tried on more fun stuff in the store. If you want to see that, of course, go to my last video. Rant over. Should I give you guys a bounce to, like, chill it out? All right, let's chill it out. <laughs> we got a little heavy there. <laughs> um, I think this is, like, $50 for both things, which, not bad. I think it was 51 55 or something like that um, because I signed up with a different email <laughs> so that I could get the new member offer because I signed into my old account and it was going to be like $70 for the two things even if I like re-upped my membership so that's also kind of annoying but yeah that's my yitty stuff time to eat breakfast I I don't know what I would wear with this I guess just to Sports bra. But I do like this off the shoulder top. I feel like I'll wear this a lot with like jeans and shorts and stuff. So 
that's all it seemed like a lot of you like the whole what i eat in a week just like to get a better gauge of what i'm eating and just meal ideas so i accidentally um skipped breakfast this morning so i'm just having a little bit of bone broth it's about time for lunch in like 30 minutes so i'm gonna sip on this i may have a yogurt as well i try not to make it a habit to skip meals um i know a lot of people are a fan of intermittent fasting my doctor says it's not great for my hormones, so I try not to do it, but I didn't sleep well last night, and then I woke up late, and I just did not have time to cook or really feel like it, um, so I'm going to sip on this. Bone broth has a good amount of protein. It's also really good for my digest digestive tract. Um, this is chicken bone broth. It's just very, very deep in color, so yeah, that's that. I felt like it needed a little bit of a zing, so I put some ginger into this tea that this little silicone tea bag ashley gave me this from soul bliss um she's on a bit of a hiatus right now but when her products come back you better jump on them so um i'm gonna throw this in my tea a little bit of ginger with the warm water i thought it would be good today's lunch is pretty simple the jalapeno saltines that i love from h-e-b some cucumbers a baby bell cheese four of the girl scout thin, thin mint dark chocolate covered pretzels some of my pickled garlic and a heaping scoop of the trio, pepper trio, I think is what it's called, chicken salad from H-E-B. Simple, quick, no cook lunch. I feel like this drink is for a very niche group of people. Um, <laughs> I wanted something sweet and I love root beer floats, but it's just not something that I get very often. So I took a Fairlife protein I did the caramel. It kind of tastes like vanilla. I don't really think it tastes like caramel. And then one of the A&W packets. And I just put it in there and shook it up. Then put it over ice um, in my little Panera cup. It tastes like a root beer float. It's really good. So, yeah. I saw some people on TikTok do this with, like, vanilla, Fair Life, and a lemonade packet. And they say it tastes like the Chick-fil-A frosted lemonade. I'm not really a big fan of that, but I do like root beer. So I did this and it's really good. I'm going to drink this as a little snack. I have some leftover cabbage that I'm going to heat up for dinner. And then I'm going to make my chicken actually on the stove today instead of the air fryer because the cheese that I have doesn't like to melt in the air fryer. I didn't really like the barbecue sauce I bought. So I have a cheese wedge, laughing cow, some barbecue sauce, I mean buffalo sauce and some ranch seasoning. I'm going to mix it up, spread it over my chicken and then Put a layer of cheese to melt. I have my buffalo cheesy chicken, um, buffalo ranch cheesy chicken, and then just some cabbage that I made a couple of days ago that I needed to finish eating. It's my quick dinner. I'm gonna eat this while I'm watching This Is Us, but I wanted to show you why the sun was still up. It's just the um, milk and cookies, Chobani zero sugar yogurt with some smashed strawberries, and then an Oreo, no, it's not Oreo, Nutter Butter Cakester crumbled up on top. I'm gonna let it refrigerate for a little bit because the strawberries make it a little bit watery, but it thickens back up and then I'm gonna eat it a little later. I'm gonna have one of these guys I found at the $1.25 tree. I also found the um, Nutter Butter Cakesters there that I've been eating on my yogurt. So I'm gonna drink one of these. They looked interesting. They had a few different flavors, but I just wanted to try one. Yeah, and this is the worst week to film. Um, <laughs> This is the second time this week that I did not wake up in time to like eat breakfast before I have to be on a Zoom call. So this is just a fair life with um, one scoop of like decaf espresso or coffee in it. Here I am, my breakfast with self. I could not fall asleep like last night, not last night, but the night before I didn't go to sleep till like 3 a.m. Nice. And then I had to be up pretty early and then I was tired last night so I went to sleep, but I felt like I needed to catch up on sleep, so I didn't get up until pretty late. I'm having some water. Usually, I would have my collagen in it. <sighs> this Alani new collagen, everyone hyped it up so hard, um, but it doesn't dissolve very well. So I feel like I need a frother, like to get another frother, because I dropped mine on the floor and it broke, in order to dissolve it. Like the Vital Proteins one back there, it dissolves. If you just use hot water, it dissolves really easily. This one doesn't dissolve really well in hot or cold water, and I cannot drink a clump or I will... So, I need to order a frother <laughs> so that I can drink those. The flavors are good, but not good enough. I prefer, like, just my beauty water, so I probably won't buy them again. And if I could return them, I probably would. So, yeah. 
don't love them. Actually, I should look at vitamin shops for term policy because, yeah, they're they're not great. I wouldn't recommend. I wasn't feeling the coffee, so I put it back in the fridge, and I'm gonna have a strawberry one instead. Take five. I heard my dietitian's voice in my head, so I just blended the protein shake, added some berries for some fiber, banana for some carbs, peanut butter, hemp seeds, and chia seeds. So I'm having a smoothie, and it is breakfast now, because it has all the, the things it's supposed to have. I'm eating two slices of pizza on a paper towel. Who knows how long these have been in my freezer. <laughs> I think I probably got this delivered like three months ago. I just freeze it and then cook it like on low in the air fryer, and it's usually pretty good. Quick Costco haul. Eggs, some lettuce, raspberries, some cucumbers back here, mushrooms, um, chicken masala sauce, organic, melons, a chicken, and then in the cold bag, we have the Costco pizzas, some grass fed beef patties, and down at the bottom, there are some wings. When the sky 